Hello and welcome to another Demon212 BC Review. Today I'm going to take a look at The Legend of the Mystical Ninja on the SNES. It's pretty hard to describe what type of game it is, so it's best off if I just show you. Um, at the start you've just got standard stuff like 1 player, 2 player, um, you can go on and continue the game. There's no actual options though to choose anything like controls or anything like that. Uh, the two player is actually co-op, you run at the same time, it's not a split screen or anything, so it's, uh, it's a bit like uh, Zombies at My Neighbours really, because you're both on the same screen, you're both tied to each other. This is the first part of the game, because there are, there are different things. Basically, you walk around here, you can kill enemies and get money. And you can also, every now and then, a cat will pop out, and the cat basically upgrades your weapon. So, it'll make this pipe longer, if I can just uh, actually manage to get this one here. There we go, and then there's the one that turns it into a bit of a yo-yo. There's then shops you can walk in to buy things, so you can get, well, you can actually buy extra lives, you can buy um, health, you can buy weapons like bombs, like their sub-weapons, um, you can buy armor, stuff like that, so standard stuff. Um, you can actually use your coins as your weapons, if uh, I eventually remember the right button here. Unfortunately, this is the select button, completely the wrong thing, but that's the option screen where you can choose stuff, and I suppose it needed to be shown. But the coins, you can basically use them and you can throw them out at enemies and the like, so it's a bit like a projectile. But obviously it does use your currency, so it's only something that you... Well, I'd say it's only something you want to do sparingly, but it depends on how much money you've got really, because you can get quite a bit. Um, there's then these little story sections here where people just talk to you and tell you things and you're forced to sit in a bit of an in-game cut screen really. Because I can't, no matter what I do here, I can't actually move and eventually the, the uh, woman moves and I end up going back for the wrong way. But basically, so this is like the first part of the game. Um, very quickly, I'll be uh, hopefully able to show you actually the second part of the game, which is uh, a bit like Girls and Ghosts, really. It's a side scroll and action game type thing. I'm just actually nearly up to it now, so rather than having to let Panda do some editing, I'll just uh, actually walk into it. You go here, and again, to be fair, at the start of one of these like side scrolling sections, you again get a bit of story. This here is just a uh, bear thing telling you it's dangerous so be careful so it's not really anything important story wise but now I'm into the actual girls and ghosts type of the game you've still got the standard attacks and the likes you can still throw coins and stuff if you want to you can't attack in eight directions but you can attack in like the standard left right and up and uh, you can crouch to attack as well if you want to uh, here there's no there's different items to the uh, normal stuff the scrolls are still here but the scrolls still don't really do anything you can uh, get stupid things like elephants, which allow you to continue on from a certain point when you die. So um, they're pretty useful if, like, obviously if you, well, I'd say if you're planning on dying, but if you're not very good at the game for, to begin with, it's something that I quite rely on a lot of the times. Um, at the end of this section, you'll actually face a boss, and the boss is pretty much, well, they'll fly around or walk around and the likes, and they'll have weaknesses to them. It's all different stuff. The first one I'm about to get up to now actually is um, you have to like knock discs around that it fires out at you so that you can kill her. So the bosses do vary but that's basically one of the zones on the game. There's um, nine zones overall and as I say all of this is basically a zone. So it's uh, not a hugely long game but it is still a canny long game at times because the zones do get longer um, and what with co-op it adds some replayability to it because you can either play through it a couple times with the same friend or you can play through it with different friends. I'm going to shut up now and actually let you listen to a bit of the music though. So there we go then, that was a little bit of the music. Um, one of the uh, zones actually has mini games on it, uh, very quickly just to mention it. And typical of Konami, one of the mini games is Gradius. They put it on pretty much every single one of their games as a mini game. Uh, I really don't know why, because I'd be amazed if there's anyone out there who hasn't played or heard of Gradius. So it's not exactly an awareness thing anymore. Um, but after you kill the boss, you actually get a bit of story again. So that's pretty much that. Um, in the top corner of the screen, obviously you've got your life limit and your lives. Uh, you've also got your time limit of the stage. Um, obviously if the time runs out, then you lose a life and then your timer has to reset. So it does mean that you can run around as, as long as you've got time just collecting and stockpiling coins to use, which is pretty damn useful because again you use coins to buy health and armor and stuff like that. But after you do the boss you then basically have to find your way to, um, I think it's a magic carpet ride or something, it's basically an airplane type thing that will take you to the next zone. So 
you do end up having to go back to this bit because obviously the way I was speaking now meant like after you beat the boss and you immediately go into it, you don't, you have to walk there. So again it adds a bit more lifespan. That's pretty much everything I've got to say about the game. It's, I personally think it's a very fun game and I really like the graphic style and the music style and everything. But everyone's different. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion. So instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212 signing off.